What's up guys, thanks for tuning in to West Virginia Astronomy where I do videos all about astrophotography and astronomy from my backyard here in Sinks Grove, West Virginia. I've always been kind of a space nerd and I've always been the kind of person that when I find something I'm interested in, I kind of just dive head first and completely obsess over it. So when I found astrophotography, it was really no different. My journey through this amazing hobby has been a result of countless hours of YouTube tutorials, tons of research on cameras and telescopes, just a bunch of trial and error, uh, trying to figure out what things work, uh, what things don't work. It can be really daunting trying to get into the hobby. Uh, you don't really know where to begin. It's, it's expensive. Uh, you don't know what gear you need. You don't know how to process images. I think that intimidation kind of drives people away from the hobby or they just put it off for later and later never comes. I remember in the beginning when I was just starting out, how much YouTube really helped me find these answers to the questions that I had. Um, I found a lot of good channels that offer ear reviews. Uh, tutorials and just overall good information to have in the hobby so I wanted to kind of throw this list together of channels that really have had the most impact on my growth as an amateur astrophotographer hopefully this can maybe help a newcomer just coming in um, knowing what channels they can trust and what channels will give them the best information it's kind of my way to give back to these people to say thank you and really these are astrophotography channels you should be following in 2022 All these channels that I mentioned are in no way better than the other. Each one of them have all had a strong impact. These are just the ones that really stuck out to me and helped me in my situation the most. So the first channel on the list is Galactic Hunter. This channel is an awesome channel with lots to offer. Um, they cover gear reviews, they do processing tutorials, and they have a master class on a website. You guys can look up that. I'll leave a link in the description below for the website. It's ran by Antoine and Dahlia. They're on the West Coast and they tend to image mostly from the dark skies of the Nevada deserts. So they produce some amazing results with top-notch extra photography gear. Just an overall great site that has a lot to offer so make sure you guys check them out next up we have quiv the lazy geek this channel is based out of tokyo japan from the rooftop of a truly light polluted city i think it's like Bortle 10 considered a white zone this is a great channel because it shows what can be captured from a truly light polluted area this channel does camera reviews telescope reviews he really dives into the specs of the gear that he uses and i've really gotten a lot out of his videos on the different types of filters and you feel like you can really trust what he says this channel is perfect for anybody that's shooting in a heavily light polluted area so make sure to check that out guys it can be done next up we have the og of astronomy and astrophotography chuck iu running chuck's astrophotography chuck has been an avid astronomer and astrophotographer for many years and has given a ton to the astrophotography community he has won many NASA A-Pods and continues to deliver jaw-dropping astrophotography images almost on a daily basis. This channel offers live streams, tons of information about astrophotography in space, telescope reviews, and Chuck just kind of has a quirky personality that makes his videos just really fun to watch and you'll understand why he's the true OG of astrophotography. Definitely go check him out, guys. He's definitely one to follow. Next up on the list, we have Camille Pakala. Hopefully I said that name right. This channel, truly has a lot to offer, especially if you're using the Skywatcher Star Adventurer uh, tracking mount. He does a great video on how to get the most out of this mount and his background in engineering and robotics has allowed him to create plugins for Adobe Premiere Pro and publish tools that other creators can use to ease and speed up their workflow. Super smart guy. I recommend checking him out. I always know when he posts a video, I'm going to learn something. So next channel to make the cut Astro Attic ran by 23 year old Tim Richter specializes in astrophotography, gear reviews. He really dives deep on calibration frames and how to take those correctly overall general information on how to get the best out of your equipment this channel is one of the first channels I actually discovered in my first year of research and it was the first time I'd ever seen m42 close up so this channel will always be a favorite of mine because it really showed me what the Orion nebula looked like so thanks Tim I appreciate that next up is the channel Astro Biscuit a YouTube channel created and ran by Rory an astro photographer based out of the UK he takes viewers on journeys testing different budget scopes and pushing them to their limits. He never ceases to amaze me with the uh, 
images that he comes up with with these budget telescopes. Rory also offers a Discord service called The Bat, where many amateur astronomers shoot the same target using high resolution, deep space, lucky imaging techniques. All of the gathered data is then combined together to create an image that will hopefully give these larger telescopes a run for their money. Also, his funny personality and his quirky little jokes make his videos just an overall fun learning experience. And check him out, guys. He's definitely one you want to follow. I will leave a link to the Discord service also in the description, so make sure you guys check that out also. Next we have up is Astrofarsography, ran and maintained by Razine Farsat, another channel based in the UK, and he offers camera, gear reviews, uh, processing tutorials, how-tos and vlogs, pretty much anything astrophotography and astronomy related he does. I've really gotten a lot out of this channel and he did a video a few years back on installing the Rowan belt modification for an HEQ5 mount that I found was really helpful and the way he did the video, he just explained things and, and showed it really good. So that's really when I discovered him and I started following him and every video he puts out is just good. I always enjoy watching him. So definitely check out Astro Farsography guys. I'll leave a link in the description below. Next up from the Byron Bay Observatory in Australia, we have Star Stuff with Dylan O'Donnell. This is definitely one of my favorites. On this channel, you will find a mix of science and resource related videos, as well as astrophotography how-tos, gear reviews, and live streams. What I really love about this channel is how he backs up everything that he says with actual scientific data. So you can really trust what he says. I think he's actually uh, got his degree in astronomy now, so he's technically not an amateur astronomer anymore. He's a professional astronomer, guys. I always learn something new when I watch this channel. Couldn't recommend it more. Um, his personality too, he's a really funny guy and he makes his videos just really fun and just a joy to watch. So thank you, Dylan O'Donnell. I appreciate everything you do, brother. Next, we have Aaron Valiant running AV Astronomy. Aaron is an amateur astrophotographer that was a huge help when I was first starting out. He offers gear reviews, how-tos, as well as Photoshop tricks and techniques that are just overall really helpful. He published a great video a few years back uh, collimating an RC telescope that the way he did the video, he was really good about explaining and showing uh, exactly what he was doing and exactly how to do this. So great video guys. That's the one video that really got me hooked to this channel. So definitely check out that. But he has an RC telescope, the best that I could find about this topic. Thank you, Aaron. I appreciate everything you do, brother. Okay, so really these last three channels are really the ones that have had the most impact and continue to inspire and motivate me every single time they put out a video. I just really seem to connect with them more than the other channels. Again, none of these channels are necessarily better than the other. Um, these are just the top three that I have really connected with and continue to follow. So the number three spot is Nebula Photos ran by Nico Carver. The channel is extremely valuable to the astrophotography community community as Nico is very well at really explaining things in detail and going through the whole start to finish process. His knowledge really seems to extend far beyond the average astrophotographer. Nico has published many videos on the exact steps to take from start to finish on how to get the best out of your current setup from just basic beginner kits all the way up to full equatorial go-to mounts with monochrome cameras and filter wheels and all that. So definitely check out this channel, guys. He posts videos every week and they're always, always good. I know when I watch one of Nico's videos, I'm definitely gonna learn something. So thank you, Nico. I appreciate you, brother, for everything you do. And number two spot goes to Alan Wallace, a true inspiration to the astrophotography community, devoted mainly to landscape astrophotography. Alan offers astrophotography travel vlogs where he travels to these epic locations all over the world to photograph the night sky. His way of storytelling and capturing the scene is really special and just a joy to watch. I always walk away feeling motivated and inspired and Alan Wallace is based near the Brecon Beacon. He offers tutorials and a monthly What's in the Night Sky video series. I watch every single month and at the end of the video he does an image challenge where each month is a different category and you can enter to win Lightroom presets, a t-shirt, or a calendar by Alan Wallace. So it's always fun to do. It gives me something to look forward to every month. Um, thank you, Alan. I appreciate everything you do, brother. And the number one spot goes to Astro Backyard, ran by the Canadian astronomer Trevor Jones. If you've been into astrophotography for any amount of time, you've probably already heard of Trevor Jones. The reason he really made my number one is because he's actually the reason why I got into astrophotography. Um, when I was first getting into the hobby, I found him on YouTube and 
I really liked his video on the best beginner telescope. I've just kind of used his videos as a guide to start out in astrophotography. I bought the Zenith Star 61 telescope that he did a video on, um, the Sky Guider Pro mount that he did a video on. Basically, in the very beginning, he was the main reason that I was continuing to progress through this hobby. So thank you, brother. I appreciate everything you do. We'll leave a link in the description for a few other rising channels that I feel could be really beneficial to some other people. One of them being the Narrowband channel. The reason I wanted to mention this channel in the video, he uses Olympus cameras. And through all my research on YouTube, I've yet to find another channel that's devoted to just Olympus cameras and how you can use them for astrophotography. So anybody using Olympus cameras, this would be an extremely valuable channel to check out. He really dives into the specs of these cameras and what you can expect to achieve. Definitely check out that guy's the Narrowband channel. Love your hats, bro. So basically, if you follow these channels, I feel like you could find answers to any questions you might have uh, regarding astrophotography or astronomy. Um, if you found this video helpful, uh, I'd appreciate a uh, thumbs up, maybe subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and yeah, just keep going out, enjoying the night sky, and hopefully this video can show people a few channels they didn't already know about, um, but either way, I appreciate all the continued support, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.